crabs have been in the Albemarle Pamlico since it developed uh, as it drowned River Valley. They were there before then. Uh, they'll probably be there after then and after we're gone because they're pretty well designed. Um, they did very, very well until crab pots were invented. And now uh, with all the land use changes, uh, and changes in freshwater input and all the people who live in North Carolina. Um, the blue crabs are struggling to maintain their population sizes. Estuaries are essential in the life cycle of most animals that live near shore and even some animals that live offshore come in and spawn in the estuaries. So they're probably the most important part of an ecosystem that's most threatened by people. Now this is this pair hasn't had sex yet. You can see the girl's very calm. She's soft. No, so see she's still got a triangular tail. You see the the, the colors in there? Mm -hmm. That looks like the big male that we had a while ago. Yeah, those colors are the new tail. Then when they start to change to orange and brown, the embryos are developing, they have chitin. And the chitin absorbs enough light so you can see it change to orange or brown. Then they turn gray. That's when the embryos are fully developed and they're starting to develop their eyes. And then they turn coal black. And that's when the eyes are mature. The babies are nasty predators. The zoea eat other animals. And they actually have to see well to do that. So they have giant eyes for their sizes. The babies don't survive if they're in low salinity water. So the female crabs all migrate from wherever they are to high salinity water. They have a clutch of babies, and every clutch after that they move out. And they don't know when they've gotten into the coastal ocean. Uh, the babies go out the inlets and develop on the continental shelf. And they come back in as the last larval stage and settle back in the estuary. The megalope are megalope for about four days to a week. And when they smell the odor of estuaries, they change their behavior and it induces them to molt to the next stage. <laughs> How long does it take to molt? Uh, once they start, these guys, it takes about 20 minutes. The shedding house, they put them aside when they, when they bust, is what they call it. And then about 20 minutes, 30 minutes later, they're all the way out. 